start with the Star Spangled Banner performed by the Silver Dollar Band. allegiance to the flag led by the Boy and Girl Scouts under the leadership of Roger Olman. Utter God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We'll now have the invocation by Reverend Dick Walschlager, pastor of Swarthmore Presbyterian Church. Please join me in prayer. God of heaven and earth, of all peoples and nations, we bow before you this day in humility and thanksgiving. To be honest, we would rather not have this day be necessary, that with your guidance we would not have sought warfare as a way to solve fractured relationships between nations, faiths, and ethnic groups. Your hand formed all that we have and called it good but we have tarnished your good creation with the heat of weaponry and the rage of human passion. We seek forgiveness. Yet recognizing our fallen state, we come before you this day in heartfelt thanksgiving for all those who in the course of our nation's history have answered the call to military service when that seemed the only way to find peace and reconciliation. We remember those who return from the field of battle scarred physically, mentally, and emotionally. May we continue to care for them that they might experience life again as whole and full as it can be. We remember as well those who did not return, and we grieve with those who loved them. We honor their sacrifice by our presence here and by this solemn commemoration. And to all those who have put their lives on the line to protect the freedoms we cherish in this great land, we offer our debt of gratitude. May they know what they have done to keep this nation free from harm. And on this day of remembering, O oh Lord, we pray that you would reconstitute in all of us your great call to love and to honor our fellow human beings in this community.
Good morning. Good morning. I think when the microphone went out, that was the Lord's way of saying it would be nice if people got a little closer. But given how hot it is, it's just great to see such a wonderful turnout. It's my pleasure to introduce a number of good people that serve this community, starting with uh, Borough Council. Uh, Borough Council President Susan Smythe is here who helped organize this today, Ralph Jacobs and Elizabeth Knapp. Uh, we have the pleasure of uh, District Judge Stephanie Klein, who always joins us from uh, Nether. Uh, we are pleased to have the Mayor of uh, Rose Valley, Tim Plummer, over here. Swarthmore Police are going to help with the not only with the setup, but also with the walk up to the cemetery. Roger Hinckley and Joe McGinnis are helping us out today. Swarthmore Fire Company, led by Larry Luter, are here to help run the, uh, the uh, engines up to uh, and back from the uh, from the cemetery. Uh, I am happy to, to uh, remind everyone that the DAR is here, led by their chapter regent, uh, Liz Giorgi. And if you would like more information about that, which is open to anybody over 18, any woman who is uh, can prove lineal descent from a patriot of the American Revolution, regardless of race, religion, or ethnic background. You're welcome to pick one of these up. Also, the John Morton Society of Children of the Revolution uh, are here. We wouldn't have this great event if it weren't for the Silver Dollar Band, so we thank you very much. Thank you. And if I could, I'd just like to recognize a few people who, although uh, are not elected to office, they at least have been elected to run for office. Uh, there are two people here uh, who have uh, won the primary uh, for uh, county council. Keith Collins, a veteran. And where's Lynn Floyd? Where's Lynn? There's Lynn Floyd. Lynn met her husband, Harold, right next to her at West Point, where Harold graduated. And although they're from Nether, you've been coming here close to 20 years. Well, we're happy to have you. I saw Guy Smith, former mayor and current legend. Guy Smith, there he is. 